Well, today is Ryan's birthday, and these are the bottles we selected for him to open and have a pour. Which one do you think he's gonna choose? What's up, everybody? It's my birthday today. Fishy brought out a lineup of some unicorns. I get to choose one, crack one. It's gonna be a hell of a day, man. Let's get into this. That's right. So, which one of these lovely beauties would you like to partake in? <laughs> Well, I mean, dude, there's some great freaking bottles here, man. Some of these we've tried and love. Some of them we have been wanting to try, but have been hesitant to crack. Man. What do you think, Frank? It's not my birthday. <laughs> I, I, I did Old Forester on my birthday. Yeah, when I was already drunk and two minutes to midnight. You're so. right. You're right. At least we're getting a little bit of a head start on this one. Now I got to revisit it so I know what the hell I tasted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start out by eliminating some of the ones that we've had. So we just did a Russell's 15 review. Put that one aside. We've had old rip 10 a bunch of times and love it and that shit's good that's some good shit right there it is mm -hmm. uh we did try the parker's bourbon double barreled it's freaking outrageously good oh my yeah, god we had a sample of that crap yes was, we did it was delicious oh uh, all right we're getting down there Eagle Rare 17 we recently had on our trip to kentucky at uh, evergreen liquors we tried the Eagle no. Rare. We had the Eagle Rare 17 at the Bardstown out of their little back room. That's right. We it was did. the 2014 batch. We did, which is a 2020 batch, but we have had Eagle Rare 17 before. Man, this is tough putting these unicorns aside. And, but uh, we've had them. We've had them. All right, we're getting down. Um, we have had the 135 from Four Roses uh, at the schoolhouse pour. At the schoolhouse. Yeah, yeah that was that was. Man, we were blown. It was our favorite for us, this product, hands down. Oh, okay, here we go. Shoot. Oh, Man. Baker's 13. We have, I know we've had the 7. We have not had the 13. I'm trying to remember if I got a pour of it when we were in Kentucky. I don't think so. All right, man. So all that's left here is 13th Colony Double Oak. This is batch one. The newest batch of Jack Daniels Koi Hill. Yeah, if you want to try that and one. And the newest batch of the Baker's 13 that we picked up when um, we were in Kentucky. I now. love Baker 7, so I've been really, really licking my lips to get into that 13. I'll tell you what, man. I don't care what birthday it is. You only live once. Been holding on to this one for at least a couple of years. Let's just go all out. 13th Colony Double Oak. Batch one. Batch one. Let's get into this right now. Oh, hear it, hear it, hear it. Ready? Oh, does that, oh where's your zipper? I don't know. <laughs> it's childproof. I don't even think there's one on here. You don't get your knife on you, do you? I always have a knife on me unless I forget it somewhere. Might have food on it because I was cutting steak. <laughs> Gotta have steak, steaks and burgers. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Man, a lot of good reviews on this bottle, obviously. Highly sought after, but. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. It's open now. Yeah, man. Value depreciated. Wah, wah. That means it'll be drinking the next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it won't. <laughs> oh, have to lock goodness. it up. Dude, I cannot believe that this, apart from being a double oak, you know, which is a finished whiskey, it's not finished with anything because the color on that is just motor oil God good damn. lord that's almost as, that's almost the color of that 27 year uh, will it purple will it? Yeah. oh man this oh, ain't no hold on i'm gonna grab it i look i'll tell you this ain't no 27 year but uh the process whatever they did with this double oak is just it is dark Ooh, that's comparable actually that's very comparable that's comparable that shit's good. I wouldn't mind knowing the age statement on this, to be honest with you. So, yeah, it's a batch one, 135.3 proof. So, it is up there, man. Just a few points away from a hazmat. Let's get the nose in on this sucker. Oh. 
Smells like breakfast. Fuck. Ooh. That is, yeah, it is like oats and molasses and cherry, like dark fruit. Dark, dark cherry, like like the really dark cherries they put in your cocktail. Dude, I'm getting a uh, like a chocolate note on it. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. And this hasn't even been fresh crack, so mm -hmm. neck pour is probably, you know. Neck pour my ass. <laughs> not That's this conspiracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because look. Now it's a neck pour. Now it's not. Now it's a neck pour. Now it's not. You he's, tell me. He cracked the code, everybody. That's some bullshit. <laughs> but I do Ooh. understand the opening up and more air getting in there. Oh, sure. Man. Damn, that crap smells good. Yeah, I just, man. Like, uh, like brown sugar. Uh huh. Brown sugar, char. Yes. Like you said, what's that? What's that thick ass? Molasses. molasses. Yeah. What's Barrel. Shit? Uh, Is that what they make rum with? <laughs> Barrel starting to kick in with that char. Ooh. This is going to be outrageously good, bro. Uh, Ready to get in? Yep, yep, yep. Happy birthday. Cheers. Ooh. Man, that was pure sweetness. Wow. And the oak. There's the spice kicking. Man, the smoothness for being 135.3 proof. Mm. Oh, the hug is there. Trust me, it's it's warm, but it doesn't light your mouth on fire. All those sweet notes come through. There's like a like a custard, like a vanilla custard note on the palate. So I'm getting the heavier end. I'm getting that dark, that dark cherry, that dark chocolate. Oh, I'm getting it and on the finish. enough, there for a second, I had black licorice. Really? And I'm not opposed to black licorice, but I'm also not a fan of it. Did not get the black licorice note yet. Just a little. It like came in and disappeared. Oh my goodness. This is phenomenal. Mm. Well, that was worth holding on to because it, the hype was real, man. And we have been waiting a minute to try this one. We've never sampled it or uh, been lucky enough to get a backup or anything. So this is a, a screw decision. And, you know, people say, you know, they look at the wall. You guys don't know it, but BS, we open our stuff, man. And we, uh, we drink it and we Eventually. share it around, too. There, there'll be people asking us for samples of this now that they see it cracked and you better come back with something good. Mm. Yeah. That just coats your coats your cheeks. Mm. I got sausage. <laughs> Can't resist that food note. I get it. It's in there. No, I'm getting I'm getting the tobacco and leather now, which yeah. is you know, typical for this style of whiskey, bourbon, tobacco, whiskey. leather, sausage, oak, <laughs> dark chocolate, dark cherries. It's everything that they say it is, man. Uh, that's just that. That's a, that's our review on it. Uh, As one drunk once said, "I ain't mad about it." Yeah, well, <laughs> we know what he's 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 been reduced to shit shots, so we know how that whole thing went. Eventually. Yeah, yeah. Thirteenth Colony Double Oak, man. If you obviously haven't, you're gonna have a hard time finding that bottle. But if you find a pour available, definitely, definitely grab yourself one. I'm stoked without this. They're up to what batch three now? Yeah, I think batch three yeah. was the one they just released. So we old school. We went back to batch one. Screw it, man. Hey, uh, let us know which bottle you guys would have picked out of the lineup in the comments below and uh we'll get around to reviewing them all sooner or later man it's just uh slow going right now but we figured we'd fire one up for my birthday and i'm pretty excited with the way this 13th colony double oak batch one turned out we old and fat like a 70 semi truck so it <laughs> takes us a minute to get rolling that's right yeah. cheers cheers
That's good shit. Yep, that's good shit.